بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نو ویلکم سیکنڈ ایئر اسٹوڈنٹ فار دی لیکچر آف سمال انٹسٹائن نو ان دس وی ول ڈسکرائب دی اسٹالوجی آف آل دی تھری پارٹس آف دی سمال انٹسٹائن ون بائی ون ان کولیکٹیولی اینڈ وی ول ڈسکس دی ویریس ڈفرینسز ان ٹیبلیٹڈ فارم This slide will tell you the functional aspect of the small intestine. Small intestine is the site for terminal absorption and nutrient absorption, endocrine secretion, five meter long gives prolonged area of contact between food and enzyme or for ample absorption. Because it is about a five meter long long tube hai aur ye area hai concern for the terminal absorption and that is why there are certain modification in the histology of the mucosa discussed in later slides so for this to increase the surface area for the incoming nutrients very important nutrients and for the increase in area of contact No, histology, small intestine consists of three parts, duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. All these are having almost same histology with few differences, and that is why it will be discussed together. Because in three parts, with few differences, histology is same. That's why we will not separately discuss them in block together. differences in the later slides. Now this slide is the actually stain of the gastrodudinal junction from where the pyloric end and the duodenum meets. So this is the area where there will be transition of the epithelium and the changes of the histological aspects. Look at the picture. Now this is the pyloric area. Now look at the these are the pyloric glands in the lamina propria. Epithelium is simple to the epithelium. No, these glands are mostly in the mucosal gland. No some mucosal gland in this. Now look at the picture in this. Now this is the bit change in the epithelial pattern. The mucosa is in the form of a villi formation, finger-like projection along with the lamina propria containing the intestinal glands, simple tubular gland in the lamina propria. And moreover, because it is a duodenum, you see the some mucosa gland also. These are mucosa gland are also called as burgundal gland. So this burgundal gland is the characteristic feature of a duodenum. So this is the transition between the pyloric and that of the stomach. Uh, the pyloric region of the stomach and at the start of the duodenum. So this is the transitional slide of gastroduodenal junction. Now in the small intestine, the mucous membrane has different types of folds. Yahan pe aapko samayna chahiye ke fold kaun kaun se hain aur unki histological differences kya hain. Yeh bhoos zaruri hain. Yeh aapko ane chahiye. پلائکا سرکولیرس اسے ہم کرکلنگ ویل بھی کہتے ہیں یہ ویزیبل فورڈ ہیں پلائکا سرکولیرس اور دا لیمکیشنلی رننگ ٹرانسورسلی رننگ میکوزل فورڈ الانگ ویل سب میکوزل فورڈ سو ایٹ ایز ای ویزیبل دیز آر دا ویزیبل فورڈ آرسو کارڈ ایس پلائکا سرکولیرس کرکلنگ ویل یہ پرومیننٹ فیچر ہے جیجنم کا اس میں آپ کو ٹرانسورسلی اور سرکلری ارینجڈ فولڈ نظر آئیں گے وہ میکوزہ اور سب میکوزہ سے بنے ہوتے ہیں اس میں آپ دیکھ لیں کہ یہ ویزیبل فولڈ ہیں سرکلری ارینج دیز آر کارڈ ایس کرکرنگ ویل سپلائکا سرکلیرس ایڈ ایڈ ایکٹیسٹک فیچر پرومیننٹ فیچر آف ای جیجنم نیکسٹ وی سی دی انٹسٹینل ویلائی دی انٹسٹینل ویلائی آر دا surface epithelium with the lamina propria. 
it is microscopic it is microscopic epithelium plus the lamina propria this fold is called as intestinal villi here of the whole of the intestine of the nazar aayenge whole of the intestine of the nazar aayenge now look at the picture these are the intestinal villi these are microscopic in appearance so it is made up of epithelium lamina propria no submucosa now what are the microvilli so microvilli a small finger like projection from the cytoplasm plasm covered by plasma membrane always always remember there is no link of the lamina propria so only with the cytoplasmic projection moving upward from the stem of the apical cytoplasm what is called as terminal web terminal web the actin filament arise karenge they move within the epithelial fold cytoplasm fold covered by plasma membrane so you will have to memorize all these fold in separate features like a circularis mucosa submucosa visible fold microscopic fold that is intestinal villi epithelium plus lamina propria but the microvilli only the cell projection that is the cytoplasm covered by plasma membrane move upward to increase the surface area it is formed by the actin filament from terminal web so you will have to memorize all these three differences the mucosa epithelium simple columnar with the macrovilli lamina propria usual simple loose cellular tissue containing all the elements fiber cell and lymphatic tissue along with nerve plexus between villi are the opening of simple tubular gland epithelium villi jo hai jo uski distal villi hai iski depth ke andar aapko सिंपल ट्यूबल ग्लैंड जो लैमिना प्रॉपर्टी में पड़े हैं उनके ओपनिंग भी ओपन होती हैं दीज ग्लैंड आर कॉल्ड क्रिप्स ऑफ लाइबर कॉन नो क्रिप्स ऑफ लाइबर कॉन इज द क्रेपिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ द इंटरस्टाइनल ग्लैंड दीज आर सिंपल ट्यूबल ग्लैंड प्रेजेंट इन द लैमिना प्रॉपर्टी एंड देयर डक्ट्स ओपन इन टू द क्रिप्स ऑफ द इंटरस्टाइनल ग्लैंड नो दिस इज द actually stain of the intestinal gland look at the picture so these are the intestinal villi and lamina propria core with the surface epithelium simple columnar epithelium with macrovilli goblet cells are there and these are the crypts of liber cone you now these are multiple simple tubular gland they pour the secretion within the depth of the intestinal villi the muscular as mucosa and the muscle layer and the serosa we have to quite obvious all the three layer in the intestine but you will concentrate on the intestinal gland which is the crypts of liber cone intestinal villi leaf like lamina propria protruding with all the elements of connective tissue blood vessels lymphatics then the nerve plexus are move within the lamina propria and the intestinal villi Now, what are the cell types present in the crypts of liber cone or intestinal gland? These are six types of cells present in the intestinal gland. Absorptive cell first, goblet cell, penet cell, endocrine and tiro endocrine cell, stem cell, and M cell. M. Again, I repeat, I'm going to repeat it again. Six types of cell line is present in the mucosa of the intestinal gland absorptive cell goblet cell penet cell and tiro endocrine cell stem cell and m cell now we will discuss one by one now this is the picture intestinal villi these are the crypts of liber cone now these are the blood vessel moving lacteals lymphatics lymphatic vessel blood vessel moving in the intestinal villi as well in the lamina propria now these are the various types of cell location in the crypts of liber cone penet cell at the basis 
U-shaped basis, anterior endocrine cell, and the neck region, goblet cell more superficial. The first is the anterior sites are also called as columnar absorptive cell. It is also called as anterior site. These are the cells most prevalent in the epithelial of the intestine. Knowing this, the microvilli are more numerous to increase the surface area for absorption. Now, in this actually stain, this is the columnar absorptive cell or anterior site. This is the apical brush border. It is also called as microvilli. They are tactic back microvilli, so they appear like a brush. So brush border is the feature of anterior site. Terminal web main, it is the web formation from which the, the uh, actin filaments move upward from the basis toward the apical microvilli. So terminal web in the apical zone, the nuclei are more toward the apical surface of the cell. The basal cytoplasm is having mitochondria and ion machine, uh, transportation machine. The Golgi apparatus is supranuclear as in this diagram. Lysosome is also present. Rough and diplomatic reticulum is there. Mitochondria is toward the basal side. So microvilli brush border is the characteristic feature of anterior side. What is function uptake of necessary ingredient and ingredient? Chuke ye absorption karta hai, absorptive cell hai. So all the ions, water, sugar, peptide, amino acids, lipid, vitamin B12 are readily absorbed in these anterior sites. Also the resorption of unconjugated bile salts. Coming from the bile duct, also absorbed unconjugated bile salts. Secretion of aminoglobulin is again a very important function, IgA, which we discuss in the later slide. Secretion of aminoglobulin through cytoplasm, pour into the lumen and then absorbed by the liver and then transported to the respective areas in the body, IgA. Aminoglobulin, very important function. So uptake of iron, water, sugar, peptide bond, lipid, vitamin 12 and uncommunicated bile salt are the necessary function secretion of amino globulin. Now this is the picture of a goblet cell. This is the H&E stain and this is, uh, this is uh, under the electron microscope. This is the H&E stain. Look at the electron microscopic picture. Nucleus is toward the basal side compressed by the globules of the mucinous protein filled almost all of the cytoplasm so they pour their mission toward the apical zone it is a pear shape a pear shape with the empty shape is almost filled with their mucinous granules nucleus is toward the basal side pour the secretion into the lumen it will nullify the acidity as well as protective function because it is mucinous so it will trap down the incoming pathogens now this is the H and E stain, look at the picture, nucleus is toward basal side, the apical cytoplasm pear shape is filled with the mucinous granules. So this is the true picture of a goblet cell. What is the penet cell? No, this is the diagrammatic presentation of a penet cell. Penet cell is an important structure which is a characteristic feature of a intestinal crepes of libercon. The apical zone is full of granules and nucleus is toward the basal side. These panel cells are usually located in the basis of the crypts of Libercon. Now, this is the diagrammatic presentation, but this is a picture of the HME stain. This is a collection of various granules in the supranuclear region. What are the function it perform? These cells synthesize and secrete a substantial quantity of antimicrobial peptide and protein. A very important function, they are the scavenger cell. They are the defensive cell of the intestine. These cells synthesize and secrete a substantial quantity of antimicrobial peptide and protein. So, this may lysosome prominent hoke. Secretion you have prominent hoke with the antimicrobial activity is key. Panel cells sense bacteria via MYD88. 
डिपेंडेंट टॉल लाइक रिसेप्टर तो कैसे पेनत सेल्स जो है वो रिसेप्टर चेंज करते हैं बैक्टीरिया को विद द हेल्प ऑफ एम वाई डी एटी एट प्रोटीन विच इट फ्रॉम ब्रेन प्रोटीन उसका रिसेप्टर जो है वो उसको इनकमिंग पैथोजन को सेंसिटाइज करेगा द प्रिंसिपल डिफेंस ऑफ मॉलिकूल स्क्रीड बाई द पेन सेल्स आर द एल्फा डिफेंसेंस सो एल्फा डिफेंस डिफेंस इज द मेन की एनजाइम्स आर द विच इज द स्केम एंजर एनजाइम सो इट विल हेल्प इन द डिफेंस मैकेजम alpha defense in the secretion produced by the principal penis cell penis cells are secreted lysosome tumor necrosis factor alpha and phospholipase a2 these all are the necrotizing enzyme for the incoming pathogens so it is the whole of the function of this penis cell is the defensive mechanism the secretion of various neuropeptide antimicrobial enzyme as the well lysosome and tumor necrosis alpha factor and phospholipase a2 next in the, is the cell is the antero endocrine cell also called as apud system of the cell amine precursor uptake decarboxylase these are the apud is the abbreviation amine precursor uptake decarboxylase cell so they are concerned for the release of various vaso active amines like serotonin histamine so these are the various vaso active amine concerned for the motility as well as the mood elevation or depression in the human so these apud system are neuro endocrine cell because they pour their secretion toward basal side not in the crypts of life control lumen but they are toward the basal side in the lamina propria concentrated in the lower portion intestinal gland produces a lot of peptide hormone which is concerned for the activity of the small intestine along with the mood and and also the depression and elevation all are related with the apud system of cell now what is the important m cell the last one but not the least very important cell and they are concerned for the production of iga Now look at the product. Uh, look at the picture. This is the hypothetical diagram. No, these are the enterocytes with apical microvilli, and these are the M cell. Look at the picture. So M cell are cub cuboidal cell with few microvilli. M cell are cuboidal cell with few microvilli. The basal lamina is interrupted. The basal plasma membrane is infolded to form a wedge so this wedge is 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 a device through which the trapping of the lamina propria lymphocyte t lymphocyte and dendritic cell that get intruded within the cytoplasm of the cytoplasm of the mam cell from where the incoming antigen within the lumen of the intestine they can sensitize by these cell and they ultimately and they ultimately produce the iga now look at the concentration on this picture this will be for to understand you the function of m cell now these are the enterocytes with apical microvilli with continuous basal lamina now look at the m cell this is the incontinuous or disrupted basal lamina the plasma membrane basal side is enfolded to trap down trap up Toward the M cell. Here is the antigen within the lumen of the enterocyte of the intestine. When antigen present in this apical side, so it will sensitize the. These are the lymphocyte T lymphocyte. They move along with dendritic cell within the cytoplasmic pro, uh, projection to the M cell. So antigen antibody reaction will take place, and the T cell becomes sensitized. When it becomes sensitized, it will be converted into the the b b lymphocyte so b lymphocyte plasma cell into form the iga this iga is its production with the help of m cell present in the lamina propria these plasma cell are present and they convert into iga ig ultimately get readily be reabsorbed by the enterocyte and move toward the apical zone from where it is 
poured within the lumen of Einstein and this lumen of Einstein discretions are get again absorbed by the the this uh, liver with the help of portal venous system so they will distribute to the whole body especially in the mammary gland of the newborn baby from where the milk is I mean ample amount of IgA which is the preliminary the passive immunity in the in the infancy of a child so this IgA mechanism is only dependent on the M cell activity which produce this type of shape along with the modification of the epithelium dendritic cell T cell B cell plasma cell they play a key role in the production of IgA so this mechanism IgA produce of the IgA M cell ka kya role hai aur uski shape kaisi hai us shape ko dekhte hue aap usko depict kar sakte hain ki IgA kaisa vital role play karti hai within the intestinal activity along with excretion of IgA and absorption in the mammary gland function kya hai M cell ki M cell play a role in the passive immunity Immunoglobulin AG, IgA production is very important function. IgA traveling from the gut to breast milk. Thus, mammary gland breast milk have a critical role alongside M cell in mucosal immune system. You sab aap log jante hain ki IgA the milk mein hogi to newborn infant ke liye kitni vital role play karti hai. Taaki incoming pathogen jo hai already sensitized hote hain with the IgA. So, passive immunity ki mediation mein, IgA ki antibody production mein, M cell ka vital role hai. Ab stem cell hai, stem cell jase ke naam se zahir ho raha hai, it is the basic mother cell of the intestine, usually located in the basal area. It has the potency that it can transform at the time of need. After shedding of these normal cells, they can regenerate, reproduce all the lineage of the the intestinal gland cell look at the picture so this is the parent cell that is stem cell it can have the capacity it can produce spinal cell anterior endocrine cell goblet cell and goblet cell so this will at the time of need it can always produce the all types of cell it show the mitotic activity as well all the activity of having the spindle formations all the activity will be shown in the stem cell so it is the parent cell of a the encrypts of liver cone. Now this chart will tell you all the cell types present within the whole GIT. Cell type K, L, I, G, N, S, and D, and anterochromaffin cell. Function, location, excretion is important. For the academic interest, you will have to memorize this. Inhibit motility location in the stomach gastric inhibitory peptide screen karta hai KSL L jo has small intestine the glucagon like peptide jo hai wo screen karta hai I cell increase in bile secretion duodenum jejunum mein hota hai polycystokinin jo hai CCK ko isko secretion produce hoti hai G cell very well known stomach pe utar hata hai aur gastric jo screen karta hai wo increase the motility as well as secretion of bile of the pep pepsin N is the smooth muscle cell activity जो है उसका function control करता है जाजुनो में इतना neurotension है उसके activity जो है movement की समान neurotension जो है वो excretion जो है enzyme जो S जो है वो duodenum जाजुनो को location पे increase पर क्या excretion करता है secretion इसका enzyme है hormone है जो के उसको release करता है to increase the activity of pancreas Somatostatin B cells जो है वो stomach को duodenum में present होते हैं। Somatostatin increase the bladder secretion, increase the gallbladder activity. Anterior endocrine vasoactive amine, serotonin and histamine, which are the vasoactive cell, vasoactive hormone, release in the intestine. Now what are the pyre patches? So pyre patches are collection of the lymphoid tissue in the form of a nodule. Characteristic feature of the ileum present in all the intestine in variable amount, but usually it is the characteristic feature of a ileum also present in the jejunum, but very, very much low in the duodenum. Now, this is the lymphatic nodule below in the lamina propria, even in the submucosa, jam packed with the lymphatic tissue 
Rooted in the land of Lopri and the crops of Liber born in the stand of Lopri. So, this is nothing but it is the major mechanism through which it is the mucosal associated lymphoid tissue. It is one of the important components of the mucosal associated lymphoid tissue because it is the area where sensitization, maximum sensitization of the incoming antigens is produced within these fire patches. And hence, it is as a very important defensive mechanism in the intestinal epithelium. Now, this is the histological picture of a duodenum. Now, these are the intestinal villi, simple clumbal epithelium with macro villi. Now, these are glands which are present in the lamina propria, but these are the glunal glands which are submucosal gland, characteristic feature of a duodenum. So these gland, glands, glands create the mucus which nullify the incoming acid. So all the features that the mucosa, some mucosa, and then muscular mucosa and serosa are also present. But this serosa is only in the upper portion that the tip, uh, initial one centimeter of the uh, duodenum is intraperitoneum, where the adamantitia is the characteristic feature the rest of the duodenum. This is the jejunum. Look at the picture in this jejunum. The intestinal are the finger-like long jejunum and crypts of libricones are present in the lamina propria. The muscular mucosa is there but the muscle layer is thin and outer mold is the adamantitia and serosa is also present in the jejunum because jejunum is the intraperitoneum so serosa will be present in the jejunum now the ileum so ileum look at the picture of the ileum so ileum has a stunted microvilli as a stunted intestinal villi glands are there but it's jam-packed with fire patches look at the these are the features of the full of lymphatic fluxes are the lymphatic B lymphosa and the B lymphosa and the lamina propria. Muscle layer is there, the muscular receptor and the serosa is the commonest feature that is the outermost is the peritoneal covering. Lamina propria and some mucosa lymphatic nodule is the characteristic feature with stunted eye. Now these are the differences of between the jejunum and ileum. No, pale pink, dark red, and wall are the thick and heavy and thin and light in the ileum. Vascularity jejunum ki zyada hai, greater or less hai in the ileum. Arcades jo banti hai, arterial wo few hai, large loops hai, little small, many short loops me nazar aati hai. Vasa recta, arterial recti, long hai, short hai. Fat and mesentery, less jejunum me, more in ileum. Circular fold, jump like a circularis, or large, tall, and closely packed wall of curcuring, jejunum mem, closely packed, well defined feature, low, spares, absent, and distal part. Ilium mem, jo and curcuring well, jo and it is a prominent name, and look absent of jati. Pair patches, jo and few, and little many, and in the eye. You difference between duodenum, jejunum, allium, tinoca. आप खुद देख लें गॉब्लेट सेल जो है प्रोमिनेंट हैं एपिथेलियम तीनों की एक जगह ही है बिल्लाई जो है वो ब्रॉड है स्पेचुलर लाइक है एंड द ग्लूटनम क्लोजली पैक है टंग शेप है डिफरेंट हाइट्स पे है फ्यू है थिन फिंगर लाइक है एरियम में लैमिना प्रॉपर्टी क्रिप्स नो पैर पैचेस ग्लूटनम में पैर पैचेस नहीं है क्रिप्स जरूर हैं क्रिप्स डिफ्यूज इनफिल्ट्रेशन लिम्फोसाइड नो पैर पैचेस all the pair patches are few present in the jejunum. Crips pair patches have turned into the sum mucosa. Sum mucosa, mucus cutting protein gland, prominent feature, only connective tissue and blood vessel pair patches are present in the jejunum. So these are the differences histological between the duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. Now thank you very much to Allah Hafiz.